The movie begins with a seemingly ordinary pool cleaner, Bud, doing his job in Los Angeles homes. However, when the homeowner leaves, he reveals his hunting gear and breaks into a nearby house. He is actually a vampire hunter who hunts vampires for their fangs, as those can be sold at high prices. He encounters an old lady and a younger male and then defeats them, who turn out to be elder vampires. After that, he takes their fangs and leaves using his unassuming truck. Bud goes home and treats his wounds. He also pours a sticky yellow substance all around his body. He then picks up his daughter, Paige, from school, takes her to Yogurt World, and then drives her to his ex-wife's home, Jocelyn. Bud soon learns that Jocelyn cannot afford Paige's tuition and dental costs, thus she plans to sell her house and move with Paige to Florida. Devastated because he would not be seeing Paige again, Bud promises her to find the amount of money needed for Paige, so they do not have to move. Jocelyn gives him until Monday next week. Meanwhile, a real estate agent, Audrey, who is also a vampire, is talking to another vampire who does not agree with her ways and is buried alive beneath a newly constructed house. Bud goes to a pawn shop owned by his close acquaintance, Troy, to sell the vampire fangs. Troy only gives a fairly cheap price for the fangs. If Bud wants to get more money, he suggests Bud sell it to the Union, an official establishment of vampire hunters, which Bud was kicked out from some time ago. However, Bud still gets some money from Troy by selling his gun and Air Jordan sneakers. Back at the car, he receives a call from Paige. Now, Bud is determined to collect the money for Paige's tuition and braces, so she does not have to be apart from him. He contacts another friend of his, nicknamed Big J, asking for help. Meanwhile, Audrey discovers the death of vampires previously killed by Bud. She mourns, then sniffs the house to figure out the killer. She and her assistant deduce the killer was just one man, then they are determined to find him. Bud meets Big J and together they go into the union, meeting the head of the organization named Ralph Seeger. They express Bud's intention to rejoin the union and Big J vouches that Bud has changed since he was expelled from the union due to his mistakes. However, Ralph is unsure of Bud, considering he has violated many codes, including endangering a fellow union member's life during a hunt, due to having a rather aggressive hunting style. After tough negotiations, Ralph agrees to admit Bud into a one-week probation period. He would be tasked with the day shift even though he begs to be placed in the night shift when more money could be made. Ralph also places a union representative that should always accompany Bud during his hunt to make sure he does not violate any code. After meeting with Ralph, Bud goes to the union's accounting section to sell his fangs. He is served by Seth, an ordinary clerk, who turns out to be the union rep Ralph assigned to accompany Bud during his probation. Although Seth is hesitant because he thinks he is not suitable for field tasks, Ralph promises to promote him if he can finish the job. Seth comes to Bud's apartment early in the morning and sees him prepare for the hunt. Bud does not act friendly towards him even though Seth offers breakfast and tries to be friendly. Along the way, Bud questions Seth about his vampire knowledge. Even though he has never been hunting vampires before, Seth has outstanding textbook knowledge regarding vampires and the Union Codes. He knows there are five types of vampires. The one that Bud will be hunting today is juveniles, people who were still young when they were turned into vampires. Although their fangs do not worth much compared to other vampire species, Bud decides to keep hunting them anyway to raise money for Paige. Meanwhile, Audrey reaches Troy's pawn shop and finds one of the old lady vampire's fangs. He asks Troy who gave him the fang, but Troy refuses to answer. Audrey tells him that vampires were once worshipped as gods by humans. She intends to restore the old glory back by using her day job as a realtor to reclaim property throughout the Valley neighborhood in Los Angeles for vampires to inhabit. She brutally murders Troy after he still refuses to cooperate with her. Back to Bud's hunting, he and Seth arrive at an abandoned bowling alley, a perfect hiding spot for juvenile vampires. Bud orders Seth to stay in the car despite him being instructed by Seeger to follow him at all times. Seeger then calls Seth, urging him to follow Bud so he can verify if Bud violates any union code. Entering the bowling alley, he quickly becomes anxious as he has never experienced the horror of vampire hunting before, but Bud skillfully defeats all vampires. Seth, terrorized by the experience, pukes and wets his own pants. Bud calms him down, drives him home, and gives him the same yellow substance he also uses. It is a special mixture to mask their body scent so vampires would find it difficult to track them. After getting back in his truck, Bud realizes Seth has left his notebook behind and reads it. He then texts Jocelyn that he has raised half of the money needed and tells her to be patient. Coming home, he bumps into a new tenant next door, Heather, apparently a nurse. The next day, Bud picks Seth up at his house and reads his notebook out loud. 
Seth has recorded all violations Bud did yesterday but has not reported them to Ralph. Bud pleads with Seth to give him a couple of days, enough to raise money for Paige, then he can be expelled from the union again. He goes to Troy's pawn shop to buy some equipment but finds Troy's decapitated body instead. They also find Bud's name has been written on the table, probably spilled by Troy after he was tortured by Audrey. Seth immediately wants to report the civilian deaths to Ralph, but Bud forbids it. He then admits that the real reason for his determination to rejoin the union despite his tendency to violate the codes is to raise money for his daughter before he loses her. Seth pities him and agrees to not report Bud's violations to Ralph until Monday. Coming home, Bud sees Heather arguing with a man from her apartment's window. The next day, Bud and Seth encounter the Nazarian brothers, famous vampire hunters disguised as stereo repairs. They agree to work together to assault a vampire hive and split the share. Seth pees on himself again and is almost bitten while the others skillfully defeat the vampires. After all the vampires are defeated, Seth observes that the hive consists of different species of vampires living together, which is unusual. The Nazarian brothers also discuss that vampires now invent some kind of sunscreen that allows them to stay out in the sun for minutes so they can go outside during the daytime. On the way home, Bud praises Seth's improvement and tells him that he has the potential to be a hunter. After his hunt, Bud takes Paige to her friend's birthday party. While waiting for the kids, he receives a call from Audrey, threatening him. He immediately knows he and his family are in danger and quickly picks Paige up to go home. He notices Audrey's men chasing after him, thus he tells Paige to wear her headphones and play games on her iPad while he outruns the chasers. Bud identifies one of the chasers as the man he has seen arguing with Heather last night. Unfortunately, Audrey has arrived at Jocelyn's house and takes her hostage. Bud also sees unconscious Seth laying in the living room after getting bitten by the vampires. Audrey leaves Bud, taking Jocelyn and Paige with her. She is certain that once Seth has woken up, he will eat Bud. However, even with his bloodlust and newly obtained vampire abilities, Seth is still no match for Bud, who quickly decapitates him. Surprisingly, he is still alive and attempts to reattach his head onto his body by himself. They both leave the house and go to Heather's apartment as Bud realizes she may be working with Audrey. Bud and Seth then learn that Heather was turned into a vampire by Audrey, so she is forced to do things for Audrey even unwillingly. Audrey is after Bud because the old lady Bud killed earlier was her daughter and she seeks revenge. As they speak, Audrey brings Jocelyn and Paige to a vampire holy ground, where she plans to turn Paige into a vampire and lets her bite Jocelyn. Meanwhile, Seth is trying to navigate his new life as a vampire and utilize his new abilities, guided by Heather. Seth and Heather agree to help Bud take down Audrey, then they head to her underground base. Seth has secretly informed Big J, which surprisingly shows up to help when the three are overwhelmed by so many vampires. At one point during the fight, Big J is bitten but he refuses to give up. He lets Bud go to face Audrey alone while he sacrifices himself by detonating a bomb to eliminate the emerging vampires. Seth and Heather encounter Audrey's bodyguard while Bud seeks Audrey. After a tough two versus one battle, the bodyguard eventually gains the upper hand by choking Seth and Heather on each of his hands, but they manage to release themselves by pulling the bodyguard's limbs to different directions until they break apart. On the other hand, even though Audrey possesses super strength and super speed, Bud manages to outsmart her by secretly setting a thin silver rope in front of him. This is indeed a very effective method because when she approaches him at high speed, she accidentally passes through the rope, and it cuts through her neck, killing the vampire instantly. With all the vampires defeated, Bud embraces Jocelyn and Paige, then they meet Heather and Seth, whom Bud introduces as good vampires. Ralph and his union team arrive at the scene and scold Bud and Seth for not reporting anything. He begins to accuse them of violating many codes, but Seth defends themselves by exploiting loopholes in the rules. Even though he is not promoted from clerk, Seth decides he will make a better hunter working alongside Bud. As Bud and his family drive away, Big J, who survives the explosion because he is now a vampire, emerges from the manhole. 